What's up guys, it's Brian from Hashra Hub. It's about 10.25 p.m. Eastern Time, January 21st, 2018. Coming to you with a brand new trading video. Brand new. <laughs> Neo and Monaco, or Monaco, depending on where you live, is the are, are, the, are the topics of today's uh, conversation, or tonight's conversation. But first, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, uh, upvote, resteam, all greatly appreciated. And, um, yeah, let's get right into it here. So, <clears throat> I don't think we ever made a video on NEO. I'm starting to forget <laughs> what we made videos on and what we didn't make videos on. Um, but it's something we've been tracking for some time amongst a whole bunch of others. Um, so, yeah, let's get... Let's get right into it. I mean, there's really not much I really need to say about like what's happening. If you know anything about crypto, the chances are you know about what's going on with NEO. It's really run up quite a bit here. I mean, coming down from levels of, let's call it a dollar, between us friends. And it's shot up here quite a bit. Now, um, to me, it looks like it's gone through its five wave, you know, count here and it needs to sell off and in order for it to continue on. I know I can hear people growling already. Well, let me tell you some more news, which is probably going to make you hate me even more. So what do I see here? I do see, I see, okay, let's just ignore the, ignore the descending triangle right now. I don't know that it's a descending triangle. It's just kind of a roadmap for me to put something out there for me to just. It's easy for me to go ahead and put things like this on a chart for myself. So when I go ahead and I'm looking through like 30, 40, you know, cryptos, I can. It's much easier for me to understand where I was before without having to spend the time of going back and 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 uh, kind of recentering myself. And I would suggest that you do the same. So it's another reason why I like to leave a lot of lines up here because I don't need to go back and do that same type of homework again. So what I believe is happening is not necessarily a descending, you know, triangle formation. Although it could happen, it is kind of one of our one of the possibilities that we think that could happen. What I think which is more probable is an ABC correction. Aha. So NEO tends to be, you know, late in its correction. It tends to have continued to run much longer than clearly Bitcoin has, right? It started, it, 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 it topped out January 15th. Bitcoin topped out January, come on, come on. I'm sorry, December 17th. Okay, so it's clearly it's clearly um, behind. <laughs> it's behind Bitcoin. It needs to sell off, in my humble opinion. It needs to sell off. It needs to sell off if you really want the coin to do well. <laughs> and it's true. You need to have healthy corrections. Without healthy corrections. You can't, you can't, you can't have you reach a new high. It's like without, without night, you can't have day. Without sadness, you can't have happiness. Same type of thing here. And so what we think is there's an ABC correction. Whoa, yes, I do think it could possibly get down to this $73 level. Boo, hiss, I know, I'm not making friends, I get it. So... $73 level, which tends to be somewhere around this support level here. Okay. There's by no means, you know, it, it could it could end up here. It wouldn't look nice. I wouldn't like it. I'd be complaining a lot. <laughs> it could end here. It could end here. Okay. It could end much lower. You know, ABC corrections really should be like something like this, like 50 bucks. But I don't want to scare the hell out of everybody. And I've gotten a lot of flack for being too bearish. 
although it's worked out. So I'm still continuing to do what I think is right. So with that said, where are we? We had this huge zigzag correction. Then we had, you know, a, a, um, an impulse wave or a motive wave up, okay? And now we're coming back down again. So Neo's whole, whole hope of me not saying that it's an ABC correction or some sort of, or some sort of wedge, you know, some sort of triangle, it died right here. My whole hope for it continuing on from this point forward died right here. I was, I, w I was super suspect because this is too short for a correction. It just doesn't sh correct and then move its way up, okay? What I saw here was a nice triangle, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, cool. It's supposed to rock it up. Oh, it didn't do that. It came up and it came right back down again. And the second that happened, I, I connected this point and this point and drew myself a line. This was already here. And then I said, oh, what, what else is going on? Oh, wait a second. This, there's like a lot of linearity, linearity, excuse me, excuse my language here, to what's going on here. A lot, right? This is beautiful. Okay. This was a bearish flag. Okay. And if I didn't delete a lot of this stuff, you would have seen it here. That's one of the reasons, again, I leave a lot of a lot of the uh, chart patterns up. Okay, so I said, you know, let me kind of take like the average of what's going on here and just draw the line through here, hit it here, and then wherever it ends up. And it looks like a really nice bullish, you know, down, you know, downward facing uh, triangle. Looks quite nice. It's not my primary count. My primary count is an ABC. Now, if we go through an ABC, there's a good chance that, you know, the market will go ahead and a lot of times what you see is the market goes ahead and does like one of these things. And, you know, it kind of goes up and then it, then it starts going up. All right. So <clears throat> this is this when it that happens, it's a big trap, big trap. We love it. So when you ladder in your trades, you ladder in your trades in such a manner where you want to keep, where you want to go ahead, you want to keep some fresh powder, you want to keep some fresh cash to go ahead and take, take take advantage of something like that. So, you know, um, that's 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 with a with a triangle. So if this thing would go A B C D E. Okay, and that's what you normally see right here where it curves and it curves, it curves back up again. So I'm looking, like I said, for an ABC correction. If this is an ABC correction and this has three waves, this has three waves, and this has five waves. So that's why I'm saying if this has three waves here and this has three waves here, that literally the C wave could be much lower. I don't think it's going to happen because a lot of people love NEO. And this is about as far as my fundamental kind of overlay of this whole thing ever, over over technical analysis ever happens. Is that there's a lot of money moving into to Neo. A lot of people like it. However, a lot of people bought it at the same time, and don't know anything about crypto. They probably haven't even traded really much of anything in their life, and they bought it. So when this thing starts crashing down, don't and and, and don't don't fool yourself. They are nervous. When this thing starts crashing down, they may start dumping it, okay? And when they start dumping it, we know what happens. It just start it starts precipitously falling off. And one of the things that makes me think that may potentially happen is this. Look how hard this fell off. And we have some huge down wicks. We had some sideways momentum, and then it came back down again. Okay, normally, if this was, a, if, if, if this was really a wave to make you know new highs it would have to be a five of five wave and you know when it started jumping up like this i was like whoa wait a second this thing could really take off and then it started going sideways and i said uh-uh it's most likely not going to take off 
because you normally don't get a correction like this so early on when you have a new motive wave. A motive wave of what starts a new a new, a, a, a new bull run. Uh, you can a motive wave can also start a new bearish run, but you know we're looking at everything from the bullish perspective. And the, the charts don't really tell us much of anything for it to be bearish just yet. So that's kind of the way in which we read into these trade into, into these charts. This blue line here and this blue line here. Again, I just like starting to 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 draw lines to for all the purposes I have mentioned, and I drew this line here. Obviously, drew this line here. This is kind of like an an, an expanding triangle, which, in my in my history, my 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 experience, isn't all that bullish at all. So normally, what happens is these things start, you know, they they start exhausting the market a lot, very quickly. So as opposed to like a Con, you know a contracting triangle where it doesn't take much to kind of hit these new levels right it doesn't, it doesn't take much volume and normally when you see a triangle you also see you see volume coming down right so if your volume is coming down it kind of just makes sense well you need less volume to kind of get to the other side of the triangle if the triangle is is contracting right but when it's an ex, when it's like an expanding triangle you need a lot of volume to get to the other side, and eventually, it just gets tired out. The bulls get get tired out, and they they, they almost as if they see the other side, right? They see, oh my god, I gotta swim to the other side. It's so far, you know. Something I'm gonna wait for this thing to really come down, and then I'm gonna start buying. So, this is what's going on with Neo. I obviously went on way too long with it. Obviously, people have complained about that, but. I want to make sure that I give you guys everything that I'm thinking about. And more times than not, 9 out of 10 times, I stop the video and I'm like, man, I should have mentioned this, I should have mentioned that, and so on and so on. So so my apologies if this is going on for too long, but but um, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys uh, you know, the information that I am seeing, the, the information that and the way in which I'm processing it, and you can choose to take it or leave it or do whatever you want with it so what am I thinking this is gonna happen I'm thinking that this is gonna come down that is my thought process right now next Monaco okay let's zoom out here one hour is not what we need let's try four hours okay four hours e sorry guys Okay. <sighs> Four hours. Now we had a a a cup and handle right here. Okay, and the market ran up. Descending triangle. Triangle. Okay. A B C D E. This is on a four hour basis. Now now what's gonna go on? In my estimation, okay, so so we have triangle and look, volume. Right down like that. Beautiful. Now the volume is like it doesn't even show up. It's so it's so low. Okay, it's hardly showing up. Awesome. And look at the bull run we are we're no it's really not a bull run. I, that's I misspoke here, but look how we're getting, you know, these small up candles in in succession so I'd like to see this thing run up I'd like it I'd like to see it run up in a uh, pretty quick fashion here and I do think it will uh, that's kind of my bet here and that's 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 my analysis you could almost look at this as being kind of almost like a cup and handle as well it's not as nice as what I like seeing going on here but this could be a huge cup and handle uh, obviously the handle's not in just yet, but the handle will probably be, you know, somewhere around here if this is actually what I think it is. Now, what to be aware of.
and then back up. That's what to be aware of. More times than not, this is exactly what happens. And it scares the bejesus out of a lot of people. But you need to go ahead and ladder in. So let's talk about laddering, right? So if I'm to trade this, then what am I what am I gonna do? Okay, I may start putting it putting a ladder in here. A ladder in a ladder in here. Right? Because I want to see confirmation for this. And and as the confirmation happens, I want to take advantage of it. Okay. I may also put in start putting in ladders and what I would what I'd like to do is I think I'd like to see it to come up, hit some of these trades, and then if it comes back down again, to then go ahead and start getting in come on in these levels here. Alright, you may even put like another one down here. Now what did I just do? I broke up my trade into one, two, three, four, five, six. Six areas to purchase at. So my average, you know, cost, let's say, if, if all these six are 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 hit, is somewhere around here. That's pretty good. Now you could say, well, you should have bought it here. Well, yeah, I mean, you could have bought it here, but that could have been that could have been pretty risky as well because then maybe this wasn't really an A B C D E. So you want to see confirmation that this thing starts breaking out. You also want to see confirmation that it breaks out, you know, nicely. It's, it's a nice break, and also you also see a high volume, a volume spike. Then. It gives you more confidence that this thing has actually broken out. Now, it's not to say that you won't get a second chance. Let's say the market does come back up again. It, it does come up. And then you have a correction. You can always get in on the correction. There's nothing wrong with that. And it could be even a safer play. Because right now we're at a triangle. It's a, it's a point of indecision. right? I think it's going to be a bullish move from this point forward. But there's... You know, not really much of anything to say that the market just won't go, you know, down like that. I think the probability of that happening is very, very slim, very small, but it could. So that's the two cents here on on what's going on with Monaco. Sorry about that. It was unintended. Where do we think price can get to? We think price can get to point around point oh oh seven. Okay, so about seven tenths of a Bitcoin. This is Monaco Bitcoin. So we're gonna leave it there with you guys. Again, sorry if this took way too long, but you know I tend not to prepare too much for these videos. I do want to get as much out of uh, out of uh, what my thoughts are with regards to these currencies when I get over it. So I apologize, and I am definitely working on trying to get faster over time. Don't mean to put you guys to sleep. But if you felt this was worthwhile, uh, please subscribe, hit the notification bell if you go ahead and do that. Also, um, you know, re-steaming and upvoting is also greatly appreciated. We're brand new on those on those platforms. So have a great night, and happy trading.